you're starting. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no. You douche. No, no, no. Welcome to Ringside Insanity. This is Insanity. This His is name insane. is Je Jeff Meacham. Meacham? Meacham. <laughs> I'm moving around. Fire you. Where the fuck are you going? Right. <laughs> She's Jade Hogan. She's not drunk. She's not stoned yet. Um, we are going are back to. Push? What's that? Are you starting first or am I starting first? I don't care. I'll start if you want to. <laughs> Since you're in no particular order, why don't you go first? As always, no particular order for Jade's top 10. This week's top 10, by the way, is top PG 10. Now, because our son just woke up. That's right. Top 10 favorite action movie stars. And again, we don't think necessarily they are the best. Or we think you think they should be the best. We think these are our favorites. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I can think of movies like Troy for him. Mm -hmm. Troy... Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, there you go. Fight Club. Fight Club, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm very... I'm... Yeah. I'm... Use your notes. Right in front of you. They're all names. Oh, you know, you know how the movies? No. Told you to put the movies. Done. Told you. I, see, I, I like I to do movies. things the hard way, damn it. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Alright, who's next then? Ah, my phone will actually not turn. Johnny Depp. Pirates. 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 Not Pirates. The tourists. The tourists, okay. With Angelina Jolie. Ah. Um. I know I'm blanking on the other one. Why is your leg moving? You're kicking me. I wasn't. It was. Moving on. Orlando Bloom. Or the, the Rings, Pirates. Pirates. Or the Rings, Pirates. Or the Rings, Pirates. Go ahead. Troy. Troy. It all ties back together. <laughs> and I'm guessing you could probably tie him to wrestling, too. Lando, give me a minute. Oh, crap. While he's taking the minute, I'll take my other... Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Kira Knightley. I can do it. Okay, go for it. Orlando Bloom was in Lord of the Rings with Sean Astin who was in, uh, uh, oh, scratch that, scratch that, excuse me. Orlando Bloom's in Lord of the Rings with Ian McKellen, who is in X-Men with Hugh Jackman, who is guest host Raw. Raw, there you go. Holy okay. shit. All right. Our son's asleep, so haha, I can talk like that again. Can I get a booyah? <laughs> Air high five. <laughs> wow. Anyways, Kira Knightley. Pirates, pirates, pirates. Next. No, there's also um, Domino. Okay. King Arthur. King Arthur. King Arthur. Princess of Thieves. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> she plays Robin Hood's daughter. Oh, nice. That's why I haven't heard of it, because it's a Robin Hood story. I have it. <coughs> I have it. Uh, yeah, you have every you Robin have Hood, that's why. Yeah, okay. And then your phone turned again. It likes to do that. It's been to be. you're moving around so much. Uh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker, huh? Paul Walker. Oh, I didn't mean to. It my phone. Paul Walker apparently was Shut in up, Fast and the my Furious. Phone, my phone likes to type things I don't type. So Fast and the Furious. Fast, Fast and the Furious. Fast, Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. He wasn't in the third one. Sorry. No, he wasn't. Fast and Furious. Wasn't that too Fast, Too Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious. The Fast and the Furious. Fast, fast Five. Yeah. Fast and Furious was number four. Joyride. Joyride. <laughs> Joyride was business. Oh my god, what's the Joyride's one with the truck? Joyride's more of a thriller, though. Joyride. Is that... Is that? Joyride, yeah. Okay. It's more of a thriller than the, an action. It's a thriller, right? It all ties back to cars. Yeah. Paul Walker plus cars. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep. He's a hot car guy. I don't he know. He should have been in Cars. He should have been lightning. Into the should've blue? Been. Isn't that cool? Yes. Into the blue. Was, was that a light, was With that Jessica Alba. Yeah. Was that an action oh, movie? Which I own. Yeah, I think it is. Is that an action movie? It's Jessica Alba in a bikini. It's all it means. 
Well, well that's wanting to get action, but you know. <laughs> Uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Okay, now there's an action star. There we go. But <laughs> what movies? Pulp Fiction. Not a, not. Yes. That's, that's a crime drama, not an action movie. It's still action. No. Um, I looked it up. I was gonna put Pulp Fiction on his list for my list, it. but. Ah, uh, now I'm thinking. I'm forgetting the name of the movie. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. I know, I just can't think of the name of the movie. Die Hard. Thank you. I was thinking Die Harder. Die something. Hard with a Vengeance. Live for your Die Hard. Hudson Hawk. Anybody else remember that? Oh Anybody else remember God. that? I don't I remember, remember that. I remember that. Bruce Willis. What the hell is that? And a little movie you like and you cite all the time that's named for WWE pay per view Arma fucking Geddon. Yeah. I yeah. was getting there. Anyone. But I was distracted by your random. Movie that I don't even know about. Hudson Hawk's the business. Go watch that. I will. And then watch this now parody of it because it's funny. Wow. Not as funny as the MTV period called Armageddon Sync, though. Yes! <laughs> anyway. Look it up on YouTube right now. Here's some food. There we go. Here's another decent action star. I can think of three, well, one movie and then two series. Go ahead. Indiana Jones. There you go. Uh, Star Wars. There you go. The Fugitive. The Fugitive is a good one, too. Like. I didn't like The Fugitive. The Fugitive was a business. Yeah. What was the other one that you were thinking? The Hunt for Red October. He's not in that. No, he's not. I thought, That's I thought Alec Baldwin. Yeah. With who? Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. Sean Connery's not... Okay, my bad. I knew, I knew it was one of those two. Hang on. It's Clear, Present, Danger, and Patriot Games, where he plays Jack Ryan. Oh, uh, okay. My bad. The role which was ori originated by... Alec Baldwin in Hunt for Red October, and then taken over by Ben Affleck. Oh. Fine! Next one. Get Fine. your facts right if you're going to give her shit. Right? Next. Yeah, other stat boy. I'm not a stat boy. I will not claim that That's title. other. No, not even other. I'm just the host Wrestling of the show. Wrestling stat boy, how about that? No. But. Uh, where was I? Oh, Tom Cruise. Okay. Mission, Such as? Mission Impossible. All right. All of them. All four. Um, I haven't. I want it. I want it really bad. Ghost Protocol. Gotta go see it. Go watch that right now. Uh, Justin Dee probably has it. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Um, now I'm forgetting my Tom Cruise movies. Jay, shall we give her the wrestling reference for Tom Cruise and see if she can figure it out? The wrestling reference? God! Oh, Top God, oh, it's my favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, the peroxide has seeped into her brain cells today. And then it was shaved the off. The roots are getting dark. The roots! So. The roots! The roots are all fire! <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Okay, go ahead. Tommy Lee Jones. Okay. Again, Fugitive. U.S. Marshals. Hmm? Which is the sequel to The Fugitive. I, I never knew there was a Fugitive too. Also has Wesley Snipes on it. Okay. Um... Batman Forever. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Yes, you do. My favorite. Yes, Um, now I'm forgetting. Tom. Is that Tom? Wow. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones. Men in Black. Men in Black. Wasn't there also one with, um... Rules of Engagement with Samuel L. Jackson? And Tommy Lee Jones? I don't know. In the collection, you will watch it soon now, because now you don't know. Um, isn't there one with Ashley... Or Double that? Jeopardy. That was more of a th th crime dark? drama thriller than it was an action movie. There was some shooting, but not not a whole lot of shoot 'em up, bang 'em up like it would be. <laughs> and number your number one, Bruce Lee. It was more of a martial arts action movie, but it's still an action I movie. I grew so up on you did martial arts movies. My mom was a big fanatic of Bruce Lee, and so kind of got into my blood, and I love him. All right. Now we're on to Jeff. Here we Wait, go. Wait, I was going to do an honorable mention, mention oh, oh, actually. I'm, I'm, go ahead. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Okay. Another one. But also because he's fucking hilarious. Yes, and he's on my list as well. But we'll get there in a minute. Number 10 on my list, Christian Bale. The Batman Trilogies, 310 oh, to Yuma. You told me that one and I forgot to put it on mine. 310 to Yuma, all those guys. 
Number nine, no females on the females list over here. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Tomb Raider movies, Gone in 60 Seconds, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, all those. Mm -hmm. Number eight, the original James Bond, baby, Sean Connery. James Bond, The Rock, Hunt for Red October, which I just got corrected on. So, Indiana yeah. Jones and the Last Indiana Crusade. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yeah, he's his daddy. He's, 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 he's Indiana Jones Sr., that's true. And hey. James Bond is why he was Indiana Jones' daddy in the first place. Was he? Yes. I didn't know George that. and Stephen fancied Indiana Jones as a modern era James Bond. Huh. So when they needed a daddy, they got James, James fucking Bond. Bond. Yeah. Wow. Number like I said yesterday on our show, learn new things every seven. day. Number seven, you mentioned already Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Top Gun. You? Mm. I like his movies. I'm just not a fan of Tom Cruise. I like his movies. I had to fight this guy to see a Tom Cruise movie with me at one point. And now he likes him. Certain ones. Certain movies. Certain ones. Number six, Bruce Willis. Again, I fed you the Bruce Willis ones. The Die Hard movies, Hudson Hawk, Armageddon. There's so many. Yep. Sorry, I'm yep. just, I'm that blonde. Mel Gibson. Lethal Weapon, Quadrilogy, Maverick, which J.J. owns, which is basically Lethal Weapon, Western style. Including a cameo by Danny Glover. And he says the line... Which we just learned today. Fun. I didn't. I knew that. You did. It was funny. Yeah. Number four on my list: Harrison Ford, Indy, Star Wars, all the stuff that Jade mentioned that JJ threw at me and made me feel like about this big four for not remembering that he was in. Um, <laughs> and he's one of your favorites. That's one of my favorites. Wow. I know. Jackie Chan, number three. I can think of Rush Hour off the top of my head, but there's been so many like action movies that you don't speak English in that you know Jackie Chan was in. The New Karate Kid, he was in as well. Uh, number two and number one are on Jay's list because she doesn't like either one of these guys. Sylvester Stallone for Rambo, The Expendables, Cliffhanger, Demolition Man, which I didn't like, but it's a decent action movie for according to these guys. Rocky. I see way too much of him. I do not like that movie. Mm -hmm. I know. Rocky, of course, action, drama, a little bit of comedy in Rocky. Uh, number one, The Terminator, The Predator Hunter, The Governor himself, Arnold. You have a nice ass. Yes, according to Arnold Schwarzenegger, my ex mother in law has a nice ass. Alright, now, this is JJ's pick. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're doing that's this. That's right. I, I'm staying off camera, but I enjoyed this topic so much that I decided to put my own top 10 together. Jeff will read them, and the ones that I feel I need to drop movies and reason behind, you'll right. hear my voice from behind the camera. Alright, number 10, <laughs> we have Kira Knightley, who was in, uh, we mentioned Pirates, we mentioned Domino. She's been in quite a few action films. King Arthur. King Arthur. Yep. I'm not trying to shake my head at you. I'm shaking my head at my... The so three-year-old is causing mischief and mayhem over here. <laughs> Number nine, Sly. Mentioned Sly, you know, his stuff. Number eight, Steven Seagal. I did not bring him... I was going to give an honorable mention, but I wasn't sure because I'm not a huge fan of Steve, but... Steven Seagal, as an actor himself, is god-awful. Yeah. But Steven Seagal... As an action movie star and his martial arts expertise, and he some did. of the movies he's picked are freaking awesome. Under Siege, yeah. Exit Wounds. Yeah, he does. He 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 does. He does play a good butt kicker. There's no question about that. Yeah, it's just his acting skills overall are just like. Uh, yeah. Mel Gibson. We mentioned Mel Gibson. Harrison Ford. We mentioned him as well. Jet Li is on your list, at number five. Yes. Again, um, freaking Lethal Weapon Four. His first stateside massive release where he's the villain. Yep. Um, Cradle to the Grave. Um, uh, Romeo Must Die. Yes. The Expendables. Yep. I think every action star was in The Expendables. Every single one of them. Including Arnold. There's so. a few that weren't, but for other reasons. Yeah, true. Number four, you don't think of him as an action guy more. You think of him as more of a comedy or drama as Will Smith. But, Independence you know, but Day, Men Independence in Black, Day, Men Black. Um, Bad Boys, Bad Boys 2, yeah. Hancock. He definitely uh, oh, oh. is the comic relief, but he's still... Oh, by the way, speaking of Men in Black, I have heard now... Oh yeah, it's Three been going coming. for a minute. Three is coming. He used to be the comic relief, but he, with Independence Day, he made himself a bona fide action star. Yeah. He's still the comic relief in that, though. 
he was funnier than Egg. Compared to some of the other actors, that he is the comedy, but he also goes in there and whoops the alien butt. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying so. he's still yeah. comedy, but he yeah. is action too. Dylan Evan. Knock it off. Sorry. Don't worry. The star of the channel will be back soon. He's just getting right man for the moment. Right. And yes, we know he's the star of the show. He right doesn't now. know any action or know. movies yet. Because yeah, so. he's not watching that mess. Number three, another not, not mentioned, but in a movie with her top ten wrestling, or top wrestling <laughs> daddy, Wesley Snipes. Oh, why did I do that? That's right. Blade. All Demolition of Man. Me, the know, Twice Heart, didn't like, or didn't uh, mention the video. Quite, yeah. quite a few action movies that Wesley has been in. U.S. Marshals, as you alluded to earlier, the sequel yeah. to The Fugitives. Yes. Um, Wesley Snipes is just a bad amf -er, and I wish the boy was still asleep so I could <laughs> no, say it all. <laughs> but Wesley Snipes, in my opinion, is what made Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. Which is oh, why yeah. that movie is such a favorite of mine. Yeah. I, I and then, just, like you said, The Blades, yep, you know. Yep, And, you but know. But Steve Stallone's penis! And but Demolition Man is the reason I will not watch Too Wong Fu. Because I do not want to scar that image of Wesley well, Snipes right? by watching him in look drag. At Rocky's penis. No, I don't pay attention to that. You're a chick, so of course you noticed his crotch. It's kind of out there. I never noticed it. I've been it's watching cool. that movie since it first came out, and I never noticed his Dean Don until you it's said it. Don. You're so cute. It's kind of <laughs> boys awake. It's kind of like Chris Bosh in the pre JJ days when he front flashed everybody, dude. It, it was just kind of there for everybody to. to yeah. It's just wrong, it's there. Jay. It's yeah. wrong. Number two, Bruce Willis. Yes. I mentioned all. We mentioned his stuff. And your number one is my number one, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Very interesting. The Terminator. Terminator is quite possibly the greatest action movie, IMO of all time. Yeah, definitely. And Terminator Two just completely one upped the original. Terminator Three, aside from seeing Christina Loken naked. Unnecessary. Was unnecessary. Yeah, and then this, it, the, the female Terminator, the female, the villain in that movie. You see her all kinds of nudity. I never saw the that last one. So like then, that's about the only reason to watch it is to see some Christina looking naked because she's hot. <laughs> but, the, but, but then they it, go and they do the Sarah Connor Chronicles TV show, and they completely eliminate that movie from canon. Yeah. Within the first episode. Yeah. So. Didn't well, they I, have the girl from Heroes in that? No. Ali Larder, Ali Larder. I, I do not believe so. Not in the movie. I know. I know she did. Uh, oh hell, she did something else besides Heroes, but um, that's what she's known for. But yeah, freaking Christina Logan is the reason Mr. Skin exists. All right. Mr. Fast forward into the good parts. So. so. No idea what to talk there's about. my list. All right. There's JD's <laughs> list. There's Jade's list. There's my list. We hope you enjoyed this one. Less cluster effy than usual around here on RSI. We thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on Ringside Insanity.